Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of the decisions you make daily. Have you ever heard the expression that you are only one decision away from changing your life? Well, the reality is it's true. The decisions we make today not only shapes what happens today and who we become tomorrow, but who we become in the months and years to come. The good news is any problem or situation you are unhappy about can be changed instantly by making a decision to react differently or take different actions to change the outcome. For example, we can change any bad habit and replace it with habits that better serve us by making the decision to cut off any other possibility than the goal we want. The word decision comes from the Latin word desidere, which literally means to cut off. When you make a decision, you are literally cutting off any other possibility that goes against what you're trying to accomplish. What decisions could you make today that would take you closer to accomplishing your goal? Make it your mission today to decide what's important to you and what steps you can make to live a life of excellence. As Tony Robbins quotes, it's not what's happening to you now or what has happened to you in your past that determines who you become. Rather, it's your decisions about what to focus on, what things mean to you, and what you're gonna do about them that will determine your ultimate destiny. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. So when did you realize that, you know, acting was something that you wanted to do and you were gonna pursue it as a career? Um, I've, I'm not sure. I've always wanted to see myself on TV. Yeah, ever since I was really little living in Madagascar, I used to watch all of these cartoons on this uh, little TV that we had. My grandma got me the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films for one oh, of my nice. days while I was living in uh, Madagascar. And yeah, ever since then, I've always wanted to see myself on that screen. Next up on the show, we have Thali Rakatanava, who stars in the new Disney movie, The Secret Society of Secondborn Royals. Thali, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's it's nice to see you. And you know what? Congratulations on this movie. It's it's pretty amazing. Uh, the Secret Society of Second Born Royal. So let's talk about the movie and how you kind of got discovered by Disney. Um, yeah, I've kind of been working with Disney for for a while now. I, it all started off with Raven's Home. Mm -hmm. I did a I played as Miles from Raven's Home for like four episodes, I think. I filmed a self-tape for them and I guess they really liked it. They called me into set and uh, yeah, that was my first, that was my first steps with Disney. That's what really introduced me to the world of Disney and Disney Channel, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and I read somewhere that you grew up in Madagascar. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I grew up there. I was born in Antananarivo, Madagascar and I lived there for the first six years of my life and then we moved here. Well, no, we moved to Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, nice. And then Midland, Texas. Wow. And then we... <laughs> nice. So when did you realize that, you know, acting was something that you wanted to do and you were going to pursue it as a career? Um, I've, I'm not sure. I've always wanted to see myself on TV. Yeah, ever since I was really little living in Madagascar, I used to watch all of these cartoons on this uh, little TV that we had. My grandma got me the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films for one oh, of my nice. days. <laughs> well, I was living in uh, Madagascar, and yeah, ever since then, I've always wanted to see myself on that screen. I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to see myself on that particular screen, but <laughs> getting to see myself on any screen is definitely a dream come true for me. So yeah, that was definitely what inspired me to um, uh, take my steps in this business. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's, let's talk about your role in this movie, uh, Mateo. Do you feel like there's any similarities in your, in your personalities? Um, no, and yes, there are some, there are some, uh, similarities, I would say, but there are some major differences for sure. Mateo is super shy and awkward, it's very, very antisocial, but, um, and I am not that, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I like to think of myself as more of an outgoing person, you know, I love getting to talk and meet new people, and he doesn't like that at all, so, um, yeah, getting to play him was really fun because, you know, I was kind of playing someone that was completely opposite to myself. Getting yeah. to learn to play someone so different from me was really cool. But um, I think some of the things we have in common are that, you know, we see the best people. You know, he is, he works hard for what he has. He's very determined. Mm -hmm. And um, 
he sees the best in people, as I said, you know, he sees the world as um, glass half full, you know, he's very optimistic, and I try and be as positive and optimistic as I can, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I can tell it. I get that energy from you. You're just like very positive and you have a great <laughs> smile and a great energy about you. Um, Thank you. What was your favorite part about this movie? What was your favorite scene and what can fans expect? Um, yeah, one of my favorite scenes in the film was there's this one scene that we filmed in a huge obstacle course. There's this huge obstacle course scene that we filmed and um, that was really fun for me because there was a lot of stunts involved in that. We had a lot of training for it beforehand. We did some cool parkour training and stuff. So um, getting to film that scene was really cool because you know we had to run around with all these lasers blasting at us like in our minds. We had to imagine <laughs> the whole thing. But I mean, it was still really cool getting to live out that concept. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite scenes in the film. Um, what was the other part of the question? I, I lost track of it. What can people expect from this movie? Because there's a lot of Disney fans and Disney Plus fans. So what can people expect? Um, yeah, something a lot of people can expect is the... Um, it's a movie people can relate to. You know, I think... I know that sounds crazy because it's a film about royals. We're all princes and princesses and we all have superpowers. Like, how can we possibly relate to that? But um, the personality of each character is a is a reflection of, I think a lot of people out there, I think a lot of people out there can watch this film and although it's extremely unrealistic like the people themselves, they can look at the characters and say, hey, you know, I I relate to them in this way. You know, each character, their personalities contrast so heavily that we're all so different that people can look at us and relate to us in different ways. You know, we're all second borns. We're yeah. all the underdogs. You know, this one is yeah. for all the second borns out there. They finally <laughs> get to see that, you know, you're a main character as well. You are the star of your own film or movie, however you want to perceive life. And um, yeah, you just got to take it by the horns, you know? Yeah, I, I think that's that's great advice. And you you definitely have to in any industry or any business is just like really go after your dreams. Uh, how did you get prepared for your role? Since you do have superpowers in this movie, like how did you prep for it? Um, yeah, I think the biggest part for me for getting ready to play in this film was definitely working on my character. I think that was the hardest part for me. I had to... Um, kind of had to take a break from a lot of social activities for a while. I had to uh, kind of push back on hanging out with all my friends. So I kind of had to disclude myself only so I could really see and feel how it felt to be Mateo, you know? And um, the whole superpower part was awesome. Cause yeah. um, I feel like that's that's something that we all imagine doing as kids, you know? That's like, I'm sure there was a point in everyone's life where you were in your backyard and you were imagining having all these crazy superpowers so the fact that I got to live that out for a summer and let my imagination come to life as a 16-year-old was really fun. I mean, it was a little interesting getting to do all these things with my hand, but nothing being there, but knowing that it'll be there when the movie comes out, you know? Yeah, so, yeah there's a lot of imagination that came to it. And um, yeah, I'm just really blessed to have had the opportunity and it was really fun. What do you think is your superpower in real life? I know for me, it's my determination because if I want to do something, I feel like nobody can stop me and that's my superpower. So what's yours? I am, I'm very stubborn. I don't oh. know if that's a superpower or a curse, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's gonna, if I have my mind set on something, it's gonna take a lot to convince me otherwise. Mm -hmm. I'm very, um, I'm very fond of my own opinion, I guess. Not trying to sound like narcissistic or anything, but you know, when I have an idea of what I want to do or how I'm going to do it, it's kind of set in stone. You're really going to have to persuade me if you're going to get me to do something else, you know? Yeah. That, well, I mean, that's a good thing, being stubborn and and especially it's good when you're stubborn and you're you're persistent about something and you're you're not going to take no for an answer. So that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. I did read somewhere that you had a stutter when you were in second grade and that for your first audition you almost couldn't get through it and our show is about inspiration that's why i bring this up for you know maybe some kid out there that's watching this that might have the same so how did you get through it and how do you think that um situation uh kind of shaped who you are today um yeah yeah as you said i my first audition i ever went to i was like seven 
I was living in Phoenix at that time, and I developed a really bad stutter. And I, yeah, I really couldn't get through the audition. I mean, I pushed through it as hard as I could, but, you know, by the end of it, I was worn out. You know, the stutter just took everything away from the audition, just ruined it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I left feeling very down. But, um, yeah, in Phoenix, that was when I started my speech therapy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it took a lot of determination and hard work. But as I said, I'm stubborn. You know, I, <laughs> I was going to get rid of that thing. I was tired of having all of these thoughts and all these things I wanted to say, and I couldn't say anything. You know, it's yeah. it's really tedious, it gets on your nerves very quickly. Um, you know, especially when you're trying to have conversations with people, because then in the middle of it, you know, you just freeze up and your tongue locks and then you can't speak and then they're looking at you like you're weird and you're like, <laughs> I'm not weird, I just can't talk, you know? So, um, with a lot of hard work, it really helped me get past the stutter. I mean, I don't think I've stuttered at all through this interview, yeah. so I think it's pretty <laughs> But uh, yeah, it really shaped who I am today because it showed me, it was living proof that, you know, hard work and determination is what helps you reach success. You know, I got over my stutter in like two years, I think, with a lot of speech therapy. And um, with all of my hard work, it really, uh, really pushed me to, you know, finally be able to speak how I can right now. I know, and, uh, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. and acting movies. I mean, that that's pretty amazing that you're acting yes. in movies, and yeah, th that's a big deal. <laughs> L let's talk about you know you've been working with Disney as you mentioned for a while. What's been your favorite role so far? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, oh, okay, there was this pilot I did for a Disney Channel called. The A Girl. It was um, something we filmed in Salt Lake City in Utah, and uh, it was that character was kind of like Mateo in a way, but he was uh, he was more of a nerd rather than you know being antisocial. So I kind of had to learn the difference between the two for Mateo. But yeah, getting to play um, his character, the character name was Ian in The mm -hmm. A Girl. So getting to play Ian was really fun because um, you know I got to play this nerdy version of myself, and um, yeah, I think that was that was my favorite character that I played for with Disney. Yeah, and I'm sure there are so many people that want to be what do what you're doing and be part of Disney. So what does it take to you know audition for a role and be part of the Disney family? Um, a lot of patience. That's for <laughs> sure. A lot of patience and of course hard work. You know, you can't really get anywhere in life without hard work. I feel like that's a given. But um. Patience is a big part of this industry. You know, you're you're not going to get anywhere fast. That's mm -hmm. just the hard truth. And who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and you will. Some people do. And it sucks to watch because you're like, you're putting in all this hard work. And you get to see these people that have been in the business for like maybe a couple months and they're just skyrocketing. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's just how life goes. It's not fair. It's hard to watch, but you know, you got to focus on yourself and you've got to stay patient and keep working hard. And you know, soon enough, you'll start to see results. If you put in the hard work and you're patient, you know, you only see better results. That's that's all you see as you progress through the industry with your patience. You know, you get to see yourself grow. And through that, you know, you finally find success. So those are my two pieces of advice. Be patient and hardworking. Yeah, I definitely agree with both of those. What, um, what's been one obstacle you've had maybe along your journey? Because I'm sure it has been, you know, completely easy being part of the Disney family and being in movies. Have you ever been surprised by all the success you've had so far? Yeah, I'm constantly surprised. <laughs> this whole thing is so surreal. You know, getting yeah. people calling me a Disney prince is absurd <laughs> to me. I still can't <laughs> fully like wrap my head around it. But um, one of the biggest obstacles I face and I still face now is, um, you know, I self doubt. I doubt myself all the time. I constantly compare myself to other actors out there, you know, it's, um, I feel like that's something everybody goes through at one point through their lives. And, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, one of the big parts of this industry is learning to love yourself. I feel mm -hmm. like it's a, you know, I'm still working on it. You know, I doubt myself all the time, but, um, yeah, that's an obstacle that I'm still working on fixing and I'm getting better at it. One of the ways in doing so is to, um, you know, to understand that you are unique to you and yourself alone. You know, mm -hmm. you can't compare yourself to other people because 
they're them and you're you. You know, it's mm -hmm. hard to it's hard to compare yourself knowing that you're just two. You know, everybody's such different people. It's hard to compare each other, but you know, we do so because they have things we don't have. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a desire. We want to live the lifestyles that they're living, but you know, they worked to get where they're at. Yeah. And, uh, they're there for a reason. So, you know, if you're so focused on how they're succeeding, you're not going to succeed because you're not focusing on yourself. You know, you need to, um, you know, it's self appreciation. That's mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to say. You know, just yeah. <laughs> got to learn to love yourself. Yeah, I, I think that's very true, especially with social media. It's really easy to like compare yourself to other people. But I know for myself, the the moment that I stopped doing that was the moment that I was able to gain momentum. Because when you turn back and look what someone else is doing, it, it kind of discourages you, right? So yeah. I, I think that's yeah, uh, exactly. Especially if you know, if you look behind, you see the people behind you, and look ahead, and you see the people ahead of you. You know, it's yeah. like, you know, you know, you're not on top, but you're not at the bottom. You know, you're just somewhere in the middle. And you know you got to work to get yourself to the top. And if you're focusing on them, you're never going to get there. You know. Exactly. <laughs> Who's one celebrity you would like to work with in the future? Can I give you three? Because sure. I have three, three <laughs> actors that I've wanted to work with for so long. Number one is probably Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes. He is one. my absolute favorite. I love that man. Um, <laughs> I've been watching him since I've been born, I guess. My parents are a huge fan of his. So, you know, they've been watching all of his movies for forever. And then um, Morgan Freeman. Mm, Always wanted to work with Morgan Freeman. Yeah. That man's voice is like thunder. <laughs> it's the voice of a god, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a very righteous voice. And um, I just love to hear it in person at least once. <laughs> And um, just recently, I started watching a lot of Timothy Chalamet's projects. He is, uh, he's He's fantastic. He's very talented, and um, I feel like I could definitely learn a thing or two working with him. So, um, yeah, those those are my three. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty epic <laughs> three choices. So, what's next for you? What are you working on now? Um, you know, right now I'm just I was my senior year of high school, so you oh, know I'm just nice. I'm trying to graduate right now. I'm just focused on that, I'm trying to get into a good college. Hopefully, I can. Uh, start heading to university after this year and um, so yeah because of corona it's been putting a hold on the whole acting thing for a while so it's been really hard but yeah there are a few projects hopefully that I'm excited um, for and I hope that uh, everybody will stick with me uh, through the ride and I hope you guys will uh, join me on my epic journey of life I guess <laughs> <laughs> well congratulations on all your success thank you so much for being on the show and come back anytime yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having me. This was awesome. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.